I want you to pay serious attention to this shocking prophecy from Prophet Olabisi James. In this prophecy, he has revealed that a new government is going to come and take over power in our country, Nigeria. He's actually not the only prophet or only man of God to have said something like this or something uh, pointing towards uh, this direction that a new government or somebody will be coming to take over power in nigeria i will be adding some of those clips so that you see them for yourself please do me a favor share the video on also share that platform share with your friends and loved ones god bless you as you do so watch this video hello world this is the glory room prophet and apostle of truth now let's talk about nigeria what will happen in nigeria and this prophecy was given on my Facebook platform in the month of June 23rd, 2023, the year 2023. I'm just doing a recap. Uh, so, this is it. There will be change of government in Nigeria where there will be political issues. A new president will be elected. A new president will be in position. There will be confusion in the presidency. There will be unrest and disappointment in government's plans and agendas. And we have already seen um, part of the prophecy play out, all right? We have seen the people um, being disappointed in that government's plans and agendas. We, we have seen them demanding for a change, a change of government, right? Don't forget, this prophecy was originally posted on my Facebook platform in the month of June 23rd, 2023. That was last year. So we're in the, in the year 2024 now, and um, I'm doing a recap. So there will be a change of government where there will be, a pol where the, where there will be political issues. Mm -hmm. A new president will be elected. A new president. So watch out for that, all right? A, a new president. And this election is not necessarily by voting. But there will be a new president, right? A new president, a new president. Probably your vice president will become your president, Chetima. But there will be a new president, right? A new president will take over. Uh, remain blessed, Nigerians. Pray for Nigerians and pray for the world. Because Nigerians are going through a lot right now. So you've got to pray for them. So while we're doing all those prayers, this is what me have been receiving. Be sealed. He'll pass through the land. The nation will become a wonder. Because what he will do amidst us is such that has not happened for many, many, many years anywhere else a, a restoration is coming and i tell you the truth listen to me god has finished preparing the king of nigeria you are sweet. the preparation is complete for i beheld the mystery in the spirit the mystery of a candlestick the first candlestick was put up, the second was put up, the third was put up. He said, when you see this, it's a sign of the season of restoration. The king of Nigeria has been prepared. I've told you plainly what the Lord has shown to me and the Lord has told me. He has spoken to me clearly and he told me that what he wants to do with Nigeria is a rebuilding. For that rebuilding, he's going to raise Cyrus. He had told me that Cyrus is going to rule for one term and that the first year of the rule of Cyrus will be full of contentions. It, Cyrus will properly emerge towards the end of the year and the Lord called it the birthday of Cyrus. He says Cyrus will celebrate his birthday towards the end of the year. And um, a lot of people ran with that and gave it whatever interpretation they wanted to. But you see when prophetic word comes you must be careful of the interpretation to give to it. I discern and perceive in my spirit that the Lord speaks of the final proclamation, the final declaration of the president. And what the Lord is saying is that the president will truly emerge towards the end of the year. The Lord went further to tell me at a certain time that there's going to be a nine months contention. 
starting from the announcement of the result or the election up until September is going to be a host of contention. But Cyrus is going to merge towards the end of the year. That the job of Cyrus will be to rebuild. It's going to cause the people to go back to their homes and they shall rebuild from there. Cyrus is going to cause the people to build the old wasted land. This is going to come with a hammer and a sickle. Cyrus is going to gather the harvest of the people into the band. And Cyrus is going to put legislation and government around the harvest. So we're going to see a Nigeria that is going to have less access to resources and more access to productivity. There's going to be certain things that will happen that will cause the people to become productive, more productive than consumption oriented. The next phase God is moving Nigeria into is a is his phase of productivity and not consumption. And that was why I saw Cyrus holding a hammer and a sickle. Cyrus will harvest, gather the harvest into a barn and Cyrus is going to restrict access to the harvest. And because of this restriction, the people are going to indeed become producers instead of consumers. And this is what you are going to see as we step into 2024. Not this year, but 2024. I'm sure you have heard everything the men of God have said will be happening in our country, Nigeria. I will always say this, that when we listen to prophecies like this, that we don't just sit on it. We don't just relax. We don't just say, oh, they have said it. Then let the will of God be done. Just like that. We need to pray. Prayer is important. When we say we should pray, it's not because we don't have any other thing to pray for. But I will always let you know this. I will always try to make you understand this. That whatever happens to this country affects you one way or the other. Whatever happens to our country, Nigeria, will also affect you. Take for instance, now the price of fuel has gone up. Is it affecting only the politicians? No. You and I are even suffering more. Because these politicians, they don't buy fuel with even their own salary, their pocket money. They have allowance for everything. Their cars are fueled. Everything they have. And they are using you and I's money to take care of all those expenses. So it is you and I that is suffering from everything they are making they are doing all their wrong decisions it is falling on us so if you hear things like this the best thing you can do is to pray pray for our country nigeria and tell god that whatever needs to happen for this country to move forward and become that giant it is and that giant it's supposed to be let it happen because right now nigeria is no longer that giant of africa we used to know Nigeria is not. Nigeria is more like a sleeping chicken right now. Because we are not doing anything to show that we are that giant of Africa. We are not doing anything. Look at how messed up the country is. So my own prayer, my heartfelt cry is that whatever needs to happen, if a new government must take over for this country to get better, let that government take over. Whatever needs to happen for us to make progress, let it happen. Because... We cannot continue to suffer like this. We cannot continue to go through this type of hardship we have been going through. Buhari came and messed things up and suffered on the way he went. Now Tinibu and his people, they have come again. Do they want to kill everybody in the country? I know that some people are not feeling the heat. Yes, some people, it does not consign them. They are super ready. But you see, a lot of people are suffering in this country. A lot. If you don't go out, just go outside. Go to the market. Go to the street. Go and see how frustrated people are. Just two days ago, I mean, just yesterday, self, I, I was hearing that they have stolen something from our transformer. People are no longer scared of dying. They, they, in fact, they prefer to die than to remain hungry. Because it is only hunger that will force somebody that does not work with nature, somebody that knows nothing about electricity, to go and be caught in cables from transformer look at the level of risk people are taking just to survive just to eat i was coming back from the town uh, which they i saw people gathering and i saw somebody i knew i asked her what is happening there he said that a guy stole boxers my god i just told the person pump and plane it is hunger 
they should just leave him. I know that I'm not uh, like giving excusing him oh, because no matter what, stealing is something that should be discouraged. Personally, the go no matter what the government does, they cannot force me to be a thief. So I don't expect you to succumb to the pressure from the government to the point that you will start stealing. So stealing for me is a no. But when somebody starts stealing something like food, boxer, you know that, especially if that person does not have any record of stealing in the past, you know that something is wrong. And that is the point where you don't just take laws into your hand and start beating. Instead, if you don't want to forgive, take them to the police. But I encourage you, if you see somebody stealing food to eat, not like, you know, there are some criminals that are very heartless. Those people, they are, they are proper criminals. They will come, they will take everything that you have. But if you see somebody taking little to want to eat, please, sit to that person down and ask, why are you doing this? I'm not saying people should go and be stealing, you no. Know? I'm not saying that I'm excusing people that they uh, giving excuse for people that steal. No. But you need to understand that the era we are in right now, people are suffering are suffering people are going through a lot in this country so please i encourage all that will do well to pray for our country nigeria whatever needs to happen for the country to get better my own is that let it happen let it happen so please let us do well to pray and as we do so i know that god is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of jesus thank you so much for watching the video please do it to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you will be notified for you turn on subscribe i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you in the name of jesus when you call for one millions will answer you in the name of jesus please don't forget share the video also share the platform share with your friends and loved ones god bless you as you do so i'll see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.